And David Bowie, the, the yeah. first time he played there, and, and, mm -hmm. and when Freddie Mercury came, he, now, Freddie Mercury must have become a Friars member to come in to watch David Bowie. I was on the door. I could have said no. So, that, you know, without me, there might not have been a Queen. Definitely from, uh, I'd say, phase two, the, the three Bowie gigs. I mean, the first one, the fact. Um, turned up with some friends, and I think I was the only one who actually knew who he was. And the other sort of it suddenly clicked when he when he played Space Oddity, because they just imagined, just remembered this bloke on top of the pops with uh, curly hair and twelve string, whereas here's this man rather extravagantly dressed <laughs> with a lot of makeup on. Well, I, I remember I remember the Dunstable, the Friars Dunstable venue, because actually it was that it was a big oval shaped place, and I actually saw Bowie there. It must have been a Friars gig. Uh, the only time I really saw him, apart from that. Roundhouse thing years later, um, but it was uh, it was a good time musically for a good time for us. You know, Foxtrot was going well. Summers really was working on stage, so we were starting the sort of motor a bit. During the David Bowie concert, when he took his jacket off and threw it out into the audience, and I managed to hold on to a corner of it, and the, the jacket was ripped. So, but I managed to have quite a substantial corner of it which I took home and put away in a little pot. I mean apart from it being a fantastic gig it was a great 24 hours because Robin had this idea that he wanted to make it really special so he suggested that we go and buy flowers uh, and the best place to buy flowers in bulk was going to be Covent Garden. And I don't know how we managed this but it, we must have known somebody um, my friend and I managed to get backstage, and so I stood next to him. Then my memories. And Robert had arranged to borrow some forms from the grammar school, forms of the, the benches that fold up. And so his idea was, and it worked, was to turn these upside down, open them up, fill it with earth or something, and then just slot the flowers into the, 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 the earth, and then hoist them up with rope. And there they hung over the stage while Bowie and the band were playing. We would never be allowed to do it now with health and safety. But And of course it was, it was one of the most fantastic gigs ever. I never thought I'd be sitting in a dressing room with Bowie when he's sitting there telling us that he's going to come back as Ziggy Stardust. You know, because he'd gone down, you know, so well. I mean, that's a bit weird, you know, because he... He was sitting there with hair like this, and then he came back and he had the Ziggy cut. If I remember rightly, he was wearing these sort of enormous blue Oxford bags that looked like a skirt. They were so big, and uh, I think it's sort of white satin jacket with uh, sort of costume jewellery on it or something. But it was just the most amazing thing I had ever seen. And even to this day, it's still... You don't forget David Bowie. I remember the first show where he did the Ziggy Stardust album. Um, it was a, just a knockout, couldn't believe it, pure theatre, excellent music, what a band, everything about it really was top notch. Going to see Bowie twice, first time when he still had long hair, just, it must have been just after Hunky Dory came out and he still had the long hair and, and the hall was only half full um, and I remember him sitting on the edge of the stage playing his 12 string, I think he was probably doing Changes or one of those songs of Hunky Dory um, and then like six months later he came back as Ziggy and the, the, the place was absolutely heaving. Um, yeah I remember at the end of the Andy Fairweather gig, low gig which was the last gig at our assembly hall that David Stops played Space Oddity by David Bowie and said this will never be played at a Friars gig ever again. But I received a text about um, two hours ago um, and this is what it said it was from David Bowie. It said, memories are everything, apparently, and I have only great ones of the fabulous prize. Have a wonderful night, David Bowie. <laughs>